Okay, guys, I have this book called um, Marvel Studios 101 Questions, um, All Your Questions Answered About the MCU. So I think every day or maybe in a video, maybe, I don't know if I'll post one video every day, but I'll post videos about answering a couple of questions from this book. So I'm just going to start at any random page and answer some of the questions. Maybe I'll, I'll read the question, what they say, and I'll kind of maybe, maybe change what I, give my opinion on how they answered it, if you will. So, um, I'm going to find a good page. Okay, what is Marvel? Marvel is a, is a lot of things. It started as a comic book company with the roots going all the way back to 1939. Since then, Marvel has created many different properties based on its comic book and lengthy roster of superpowered Marvel superpowered characters. These include the MCU movies, live action TV shows, cartoons, video games, and toys. In 2009, Marvel became part of the world. Walt Disney World Company. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think that is an interesting point to bring up, is that, is that, um, the MCU, or not MCU, sorry, Marvel is in so many different mediums. You know, obviously started out as comic books, they made real books out of, out of Marvel characters, they made, obviously, they made, um, TV series, um, like, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes as well as um, Avengers Assemble. They made just TV shows like The Incredible Hulk in like the 70s and um, 80s, obviously Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then as far as films, you got the MCU films as well as, you know, pre-MCU films like the uh, X-Men, Sony's, or uh, Sony's Spider-Man films. And, um... So yeah, obviously we all know. Now the MCU, what does the MCU stand for? Obviously we know Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's pretty self-explanatory. What is a phase? In the MCU, a phase is a group of films that chart various story arcs. Yeah, I mean, I think, the, I, I, I mean, I'm glad that they really did split the films up into phases because it makes it a lot easier to explain the story because if you just said hey, it's just one big universe I mean it's still one big universe but when you take this universe and it, explain it to someone in chunks and say this is a phase this is a story now when that story's up another story begins these stories all intertwine to a saga when that saga ends things continue are the films and comics different? Yes, they are, but yes. The films take inspiration from the comics, but they are not but they are not adapted from them. Much has been changed. Some of the comics were made a long time ago, so stories have been moder moder modernized and set in the present. Some storylines have been given to different characters. Some characters look very different from their illustrated versions. So yeah, I mean the films and comics are very different. So I mean that's to be expected. They are they are very different uh, in many ways, but they're also very similar in many other ways. So here's a few creator. So here's a few creators you definitely need to know: Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios; Stan Lee is the former editor and chief publisher and chairman of Marvel Comics. Anthony and Joe Russo, known for as the Russo Brothers, directed Captain America, Winter Soldier, Captain America, Civil War, uh, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. James Gunn directed Guardians of Galaxy films. John Favreau directed um, the first two Iron Man films and played ha Happy Hogan in them as well. Josh Whedon directed the first Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. And that's it for part one of Marvel Studios 101 Questions Answered.